Joey Burrow, uh, he was a guy that was uh, kind of under, you know, Tom Herman, we kind of, I don't want to say rejected, because they didn't reject him, but just kind of see what we want, because he, he's growing up. And the unfortunate thing right now, with all this early recruiting is pushing, you're letting, between your sophomore and junior year and your junior seniors, when kids grow up and they're, I'm watching my son do it right now, how big he's getting and strong he's getting. So, Joey Burrow was right on the schedule, and uh, Tom Herman went down there, and, and uh, you know, he wasn't, I don't know if he's highly rated or not, but I just remember uh, he sent me, and he's screaming into his phone, like his iPhone, as he's watching this kid throw. And he goes, I found your next Alex Smith. You know, and, and you meet the kid and his family, and it's just day one day. He's a competitor, he wins, he wins in football, he wins in basketball, and his mom and dad is a coach's son, so we're real impressed with him. Torrance, I didn't know very well. He came in, and uh, uh, the other thing I asked Torrance is just please don't penalize us because our play guys play real well. You know, every, I went through other rosters on other, everybody's got three or four quarterbacks. If you don't, you really struggle. But everybody's got three or four. Our three or four happen to play really well. Don't hold that against us because Cardell might leave after next year. He almost left this year, I guess. And, and Braxton's out, so you're down to one, maybe two. But don't hold that against us coming to be for the spot. Because you go from Braxton to, to uh, Kenny Guyton to JT Barrett to Bernardo Jones, don't penalize the Ohio State Buckeyes because all four played really well.